This is your CBS 46 News Update, brought to you by West Shore Home. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Hughes. We begin with a crime alert. Atlanta police looking for a man they believe may be involved in the death of a seven-year-old girl. Kennedy Maxey was tragically shot in Buckhead. She died over the weekend. Investigators say Daquan Reed was arguing with people outside of Phipps Plaza when he opened fire. Court records in Virginia show Reed is currently out on probation for another shooting. And investigators are also searching for a suspect in a double shooting. It happened on Piedmont Avenue near the Altitude Department building. Two men were taken to Grady with non-life-threatening injuries. We're working to learn more about what led up to that shooting. Hopefully midday on Thursday we can start accepting patients and, and give a little bit of relief to our area. The temporary overflow hospital at the Georgia World Congress Center will open tomorrow. The facility will have 60 additional beds for patients and serve as a distribution point for PPE supplies for health care workers. All right, check your bank account. Some of you might have gotten your stimulus checks. The $600 stimulus payments began heading out overnight for those who are already signed up for direct deposits. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said paper checks could start rolling out today for people without government registered bank accounts. All right, let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Rodney Harris. Rodney, what are we looking at, man? Okay, Rob, so this is the last day where most of us will stay dry because starting Thursday, scattered rain will be possible across Metro Atlanta. Cloudy Thursday morning, about Thursday afternoon, we are tracking some scattered showers that will continue off and on on Thursday. So by Thursday night and into Friday morning, New Year's Eve, we are seeing scattered showers. So make sure and have that umbrella if you do plan on heading out and social distancing. And then Friday, New Year's Day itself, we will get heavier rain that will move in along the actual cold front that's producing all this rain. And we could even see a few storms on Friday in addition to the rain. So south and east of Atlanta, you are already under a level one risk. It's the lowest risk of a severe storm. Again, that starts on Friday from LaGrange to Griffin to Athens to Edenton. So circle Friday on your calendar and we'll keep you up to date on that. But the good news is that after the showers on Thursday and the storms on Friday, we do dry things out for the upcoming weekend. The first weekend of 2021 will include some sunshine, but it'll also be cooler. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News, brought to you by West Shore Homes, Atlanta's one-day bath remodeler.